give you back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, Game of Thrones just released a new set of Season 7 pictures from the popular news source Entertainment Weekly. There is a total of 7 new photos and one of them is an official screen grab from a battle with Danny and Drogon. Now the first thing you'll probably notice in this photo is the enormous size of Drogon. The producers have stated that in Season 7 dragons will be as big as jumbo jets. This doesn't really look like a 747 to me, but Drogon has definitely grown. We don't know exactly who Daenerys is battling in the picture, but if you zoom in you can actually see what looks like a Dothraki warrior swinging his Auroch into his opponent. And then there's a few armored soldiers running away from the fire. Their helmets kind of remind me of the Lannister forces, which would make sense because that's who the Targaryen alliance would be fighting. We already know Daenerys will be arriving at Dragonstone sometime early on in the season, and since there are not as many enemy forces lurking around there at this point in the timeline, I doubt the battle takes place there. It could be near King's Landing, but with such little scenery to go off of, we can't really know. There is also a structure burning in the background, so that may not be just in the middle of nowhere. I wonder how far Danny's conquest will go with the looming threat in the north. Winter is already here, and depending on whether the Targaryen forces take on King's Landing right away, they could basically start a war anywhere. I couldn't imagine the average citizen of Westeros picking up a sword and fighting for Cersei, especially with three huge dragons flying around. Chances are, Danny won't have any problem making it to the capital city. One question I have though, is how much bigger will Drogon be than the other two dragons? I mean, Rhaegal and Viserion were locked down for quite a while, and from what we know of the Targaryens and their dragons, the wild and free dragons were always the biggest. Going through the other pictures, there's a few taken behind the scenes. Here's one of Sansa and Littlefinger staring down into the courtyard of Winterfell. It looks like this is just a different angle of the same scene that's depicted in an earlier Season 7 photo set. And the same goes for this photo. It's just a different angle of the scene with Cersei and Jaime. Fun fact of the day, Jaime is wielding Widow's Well, one of the two swords forged from Ned Stark's sword Ice. Here is a couple more photos from Winterfell, Tormund Giantsbane, and of course Brienne of Tarth. If we look closely above Tormund, you can see the upper level balcony that Sansa and Baelish are standing on. All of these northern pictures may be from the same scene. Sansa is looking down at the courtyard where Brienne, Tormund, and even Jon are preparing to depart on their journey to unite more houses for the Great War to come. If the general consensus is correct, then Jon will leave Sansa in charge of the North, leading to Baelish aggressively trying to impose his will on her. Remember, Littlefinger wants control of everything. His plan was to become the Warden of the North, or at least the advisor to Sansa, until the noble houses claim Jon Snow as their new king. You can see he's frustrated during the meeting held at Winterfell. Arya will make her way home, probably missing a reunion with Jon. If Sansa remains at Winterfell, which I'm sure she plans to do, she will most likely see her sister again. In this photo, Arya looks to be wearing more traditional northern attire, and she's using her own face, so maybe this means she's somewhere safe. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this photo release. If you have any other questions, write them down in the comments below. I want to thank Geek Fuel for sponsoring today's video. Geek Fuel is a subscription service that pretty much offers everything a geek might want in a box that comes in the mail. Every month, a new box is delivered with a unique t-shirt and a bunch of other awesome stuff. This month, my family and I received a Demogorgon t-shirt, perfect for anyone who loves the show Stranger Things. We also got a Family Guy Stewie Pop Funko and a Marvel Heroes pouch. There are five different versions you may receive. This one has a little bit of all the superheroes on it. Oh, and I also received a Steam game. You get one of these in every box, as well as an Epic Enamels Hero pin. There's also a rare model you may end up getting if you're lucky. For all new subscribers, make sure you use my special link in the description and you will receive a bonus Game of Thrones journal. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow.